What are you doing while Claude Code is running those long horizon tasks? Sometimes if I'm not thinking about the next features and making notes on things I notice, I'm often just twiddling my thumbs. But what if we could have multiple Claude Code instances running on separate branches, working on multiple features, making you a performance beast when it comes to Claude Code? Well, let's dig into how you can achieve exactly that. So this is a typical example where I've got Claude Code working on a branch, fixing tests, doing its thing. I'm pretty much completely locked out of doing any work from Claude Code until now. So if I create a new window, I'm using warp here, which I'll leave links to down below. That will become relevant in just a second. What we can do is inside of my project, I can simply type git work tree add dash b and then I'm going to name this branch. So in this case, I'm going to type feature add MFA because I want to work on adding multi-factor authentication to my app. Then you're going to want to specify a folder in wherever it is you want to create this new instance of Claude code. So I'm going to go back a folder here and then create a new folder called add MFA. And I want to branch that from origin main. You can branch it from the current branch that you're on by, by leaving this blank. Or indeed, you can choose another branch to branch this from on GitHub, whatever you choose, really. So I'm going to branch out from main. I'm going to hit add. And it's going to create that folder, pull down the code into that. And I'm going to CD into that folder. And if I LS here, I've got a copy of all of that code, a new branch of that code and I can work safely within here. And of course, I can just run Claude. And everything as I expect it. And I can start to implement my add MFA feature completely isolated from the current task that's probably still doing its thing over in the other folder. And I said I'm using warp and I said that will come in handy later on. So realistically, I could probably just ask warp to say back into my main folder here, switch agent mode on here and say create a new work tree branch to implement new UI fixes branch. Let's see if warp can figure this out. It's going to fetch. I mean, to be honest, oftentimes I have no idea what warp is doing, which is exactly why I use it. Now I understand this, git work tree add new branch called UI fixes, and it's going to add it to a new folder inside of here called Lensley's UI fixes from origin main. And there we go. It's telling us we should CD into that folder now. Fire up Claude. And we're good to go. So you might really ask yourself, why can't I just create a folder and clone the repo again and work? And you can absolutely do that. But in this way, it's sharing a lot of the resources. So you don't have to wait for it to download that clone anymore. Moreover, it keeps both branches up to date with any changes that happen on the remote. So generally, it's just a bit cleaner, a little bit faster. Some other useful commands is git work tree remove and then the path to the folder that you created earlier. This will just remove it once you've obviously pushed it up to GitHub and you've done everything you need to do. Another one is git work tree prune, which will clean up any stale branches that you've made in the past. So subscribe to my channel if you found it useful or if you want to hear more Claw Code tips. And until next time, keep on vibing.